if I want a free vacation of my choice, I would go to Italy. The reason I would go there is because is I would love to see the country's different beautiful sights and attractions, as well as eat their delicious food. First, I would go to the beaches. I would love to hang out on the warm, beautiful beaches of the Italian coastline and, and hang out in the, in the crystal blue waters of the Mediterranean Sea. Then I would go visit Roman ruins such as Pompeii and, of course, nearby Mount Vesuvius. After that, I would go to Rome to, to see such sites as the Colosseum and the Vatican. I think Italy would be the best place to go because I think it's one of the most beautiful places in the world. I have to tell you some tips for success in the Geography Bee. First of all, you should not cram the information into your head the night before the bee. That will not help you in any way and you won't learn anything, nor will you have fun, and that's what it's all about. So, what you gotta do is learn it over time, and gradually your knowledge will increase and you'll be good to go. Second, what you need a few tools for success. The three most important tools would be atlases and geography books, Google Earth, and an interactive globe. Those will tell you where a place is, what it looks like, and it will also tell you all about it. Last of all, the geography is, is more than just, just capitals and places on a map. It's also cultures, there's transportation, economics, foods, people, government, infrastructure, everything. Not just what's the capital or what's the longitude and latitude. It's a very diverse subject. And most importantly, have fun. If you were to visit my hometown, Danville, California, there's plenty of things to see in the area and state. First of all, which is nearby, is Mount Diablo, right there. That mountain, at a height of 3,849 feet, has the second best views of any mountain in the world, second only to Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania. The, you can see over 100 miles in each direction in over 35 counties on a clear day from the summit. Also nearby, to the west, is San Francisco. Over there, you can you can check out the city along with the its Golden Gate Bridge, Pier 39, Chinatown, cable cars, all of it. It's very close to here. Also near there is, is the beautiful California coastline with redwood forests, rocky cliffs, and crystal blue waters. There's, across the Central Valley and into the Sierra Nevada is Lake Tahoe, a large mountain lake that is the second deepest in the country. It is a popular place for, for skiing and snowboarding in winter and for hiking and just plain relaxing in summer. It's a beautiful forested area. Also to the south is Yosemite National Park. Yosemite Valley is famous for all of its granite it, mountains there, such as Half Dome and El Capitan. It's a beautiful place to see. South of there is Sequoia National Park, famous for its giant sequoia trees, the largest being called General Sherman, the largest living thing on Earth. Then, if you're in California, no trip is complete without going down south. Check out, out the beautiful beaches, as palm trees, and of course, Disneyland. And you might as well check out San Diego as well. All, all of California is a beautiful place to see. It is so diverse as well. One place it's rolling hills, another place it's tall mountains, to lush valleys, to deserts. So, come see California. It's a nice place. I strongly encourage you to participate in the Geography Bee. It's fun, it's a great way to learn about geography, and well, you never know where it may take you. Good luck.